Hi, my name is Bethany Kiefer. I work at City Arts as a youth instructor. Uh, Trees for Life has approached us and asked for us to put together a lesson plan meant to show other teachers how to teach a certain age group. Uh, we're going to be going over a lesson that's meant for children ages 4 to 10. Uh, the lesson we've chosen today is to make uh, the rainbow fish. This is based off the book uh, Rainbow Fish by Marcus Feaster. Uh, it's a really good book that's got a lot of morality to it. Uh, basically, a quick summary of the book is a uh, rainbow fish that's got beautiful scales that doesn't want to share with his friends. Uh, a lot of the other fish don't want to hang out with him because they think he's mean. In the end, he decides to share scales with his friends so he can have people to hang out with. And everybody's happy in the end. Uh, the moral of the story is to share. Uh, if you choose not to share, you may not have any friends uh, to be around you. Uh, so we are going to do rainbow fish with this. Uh, it's important to discuss teachers with the students, ask them, engage them in the activity. Is there ever a time in their life where they had to choose between sharing or not to share? What was the outcome? We want to make sure we can relate the project back to them. I'm sure that they'll have an example they can share. Okay, so to begin with the handprint fish puppet that we're going to make for the Rainbow Fish book. First off, uh, we need to check our supplies. Um, an assortment of colored construction paper, uh, crowns, these little googly eyes that you can use to make the eyes for your fish, uh, popsicle stick, scissors, Elmer's glue, a pencil for tracing, and then also the teacher will use a hot glue gun to uh, finish off the project. So first we want to begin, we want to encourage the students to make a handprint, um, have them spread their hands as well as they can on the construction paper, and then begin tracing their hand. And it's best for them to do this themselves. Um, if you need help with assistance, that's fine. So we'll do our handprint, and then you'll have to finish in that side. And then this is what it's going to look like when you're done. Obviously, theirs will be a lot smaller. So we've got our fish. Now, I want to encourage them to color on the fish. Um, be as creative um, as they'd like. Uh, they can do some swirly squiggles, use different colors. I want to encourage that they all do different fish, that it's OK for their fish to look different from their peers. So add in some colors. Next, what we'll do is I have gone ahead and traced out some fins, uh, some scales, with a thicker piece of construction paper. I use that as a stencil for them. It probably would be too difficult for them to do this part themselves. So this is how I stenciled it out for them, just by using this scale. But you would go ahead as a teacher and give them these to cut out and also assist with that if they need the help. So they would use their scissors and cut out the scales the best they can. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just like that. And I've already got some scales that are pre-cut. So we would go ahead and put some scales on the fish. We'd use some of their Elmer's glue and we want to encourage the students to do this. Use different colors. And in the book, they'll learn about the rainbow fish with the different colored scales. But at the end of the book, the fish doesn't have as many glittery scales as the fish did in the beginning of the book because they shared with their friends. So they probably would only have one or two glitter scales on their fish. So this is just an example of them starting to put those on. Uh, next, we can put the eye on. And they can color in fish lips, whatever kind of shape they want to do. I just did a half moon. I'll outline it so you can see it better for their fish. They'll finish by putting the rest of the scales on. And then we finish the project by using the hot glue gun on the So the teacher will put the hot glue on the popsicle stick. 
and then put it on the back of their fish puppet. And so that's the start of what their fish puppet will look like. I think they will enjoy it. And that is the end of the lesson.